Hello, and welcome to another video presentation courtesy of the Physics Department here at the University of North Texas with the help of the Physics Demo Room. So today's demo that we're going to be discussing is the concept of free fall. So free fall was kind of first introduced by Sir Isaac Newton when talking about how objects or objects fall towards the Earth at the same rate, which is the net force equals mass times acceleration. But in this case, if we're just looking at an object falling to the Earth, the acceleration is due to the acceleration due to gravity, which is little g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. And his idea and his hypothesis is that all these objects feel the same acceleration and should fall at the same rate, regardless of their mass. And that's where a lot of people will go, wait a minute, Corey, I've done different experiments, such as I've got a wood block here and a feather here. If I have these at the same height and I drop them, the wood block hits before the feather. That's contradictory to what we've just talked about and our known ideas of the universe. Well, that is because we are not taking something into account with this. And that is the reason why we are all breathing. That is because we have air. Air can resist objects and have a resistive force. So it can resist movement. This air, sometimes can be referred to air resistance, can give you a terminal velocity when you're falling, such as what you ever heard about if you've gone skydiving. And this resistance is due to the shape at which the object is falling and encountering the air. So now if we have this air resistance, then Newton's idea of how objects are falling is incorrect. And that's where I would have to say, no, he's not incorrect. He's assuming that there's no resistance. If you eliminate all the air in the way, these things will fall to the earth at the same rate, which means they'll land at the same time. Well, we can't do that experiment in air, but we have two ways that we could do it. We either spend a lot of money and go to space. Luckily, there's an international space station where they can go outside the space station. They can do these experiments. Or what we can do is we can set up a vacuum system. So this object to my left, or in your case, I believe you're right, is a tube. And at the bottom of it, you see this little silver piece. This is just a valve. And I've sucked as much air as I can out of it. Not manually. I use a vacuum pump and we just stick a hose on the end and we suck out all the air. And I'll show you that we sucked out all the air after I do the demonstration. But if you notice this object right there, that's a pink feather, very similar to the one I have in my hand. But also inside here, we have a penny. So now what I'm going to try and do is that these two objects are at the bottom. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to rotate this fast enough. That way, the penny and the feather will fall simultaneously down without hitting the sides of the tube. Because as soon as it hits the sides of the tube, they're no longer just having a free path to follow. And they're encountering stuff just like how this feather was encountering stuff falling on its way in air. So I'm going to see and hopefully you can hear the penny hit the base at the same time the feather is. I can do this right. So now, a lot of you might be saying, Corey, this seems like trickery. I don't think this is right. I think you're doing something wrong, but hopefully you can at least see that in the absence of air, these two hit at the same time. Now, I'm going to let all the air in, not all the air out. So I'm going to open this valve and all the air is going to rush in and you should see this pink feather shoot straight up. And now, if I was to do the exact same thing again, you now see a very different. You hear the penny, 
penny, feather. So now in the absence of air resistance, we are able to have objects hit at the exact same time, just like what Isaac Newton had talked about in the past. So thank you for this little video demonstration for your attention and have a wonderful day.